Can you trust Ace Fitness to certify you as a kettlebell coach? Let's find out. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestag here. We're all about kettlebells. So if you are into kettlebells, then like the video and consider subscribing. So the first video that we're going to talk about is a total body circuit workout, where they demonstrate a couple of exercises that you can do at home or in the gym. So the first exercise is the kettlebell single arm swing. Now, I would imagine a single arm swing is the swing where you use only one arm. But watch this. He's doing a hand-to-hand -hand swing. Now, the timing is off. He doesn't connect with his hips. It's fairly lightweight and we all know with lightweight you can do you can mess up and don't feel it because heavyweights are instructive you have to call this a hand-to-hand -hand swing you have a full camera setup you have a director you have a script you have the athlete you have everything in place so this is not something that happens while you are doing a video for example you are doing a split squat and then you call it a reverse lunge they are very similar but maybe in the heat of the moment you just said it wrong this looks different this is a setup video and i think then you have to get the descriptions right and now about the form as you can see it just doesn't work the timing is off you start changing too early therefore the arm doesn't connect with the hip or the body and the arm feels the brunt of the weight this is something that you always have to be careful of and we always see this little problem right here that you see many people do this when they are starting in the air this seems like a 30 pound kettlebell so you're starting in the air you're wasting your first rep for a demo purpose where you are showing for example an exercise or the swing with a drill on how you want to improve it yes i understand then you can demonstrate it but if you are working with fairly heavy weights and you really want to get a good workout on and start properly then use the triangle if you don't start properly you probably don't finish properly now here we're jumping to an advanced kettlebell workout and i think this is a different athlete because i love what he does look at this powerful technique i love it boom the fire and the punch in the swing and these are two 20 kgs so he's rocking with 40 kgs so 40 kilogram doesn't allow you to make any mistakes you have to be solid and you have to engage in proper technique now we starts with clean and this is more like a heart style type of clean nonetheless i like it heart style type of clean with competition kettlebells powerful stuff i like it very solid here we have the double kettlebell front squat which he also engages in in a very nice and beautiful way because look at what he does he keeps his upper body upright knees goes out chest is up because he knows it is a front squat if you have weights in front of you you have to use the biomechanics and the dynamics of a front squat here he comes with a press i love it what he does also very solid the only thing that i see and this is complaining on a high note is the extension what i love is i call it the so-called russian extension where when the kettlebells are in the top fixation the arms are fully extended you don't see no dent in the elbow and that's what i see sometimes with buff dudes sometimes they don't have the arms fully extended but this is just like i said complaining on a very high note i like his technique so from this powerful video we jump into this that i really don't understand now you have this great contrast between the guy before and the dude right here and this is a certified ace video a kettlebell swing step and they say it belongs to a certain type of certificate that you can do do the swing do the swing and if you start walking then do farmers carries do lunges if you want to use the bipedal idea that we have as human beings bipedal because we can stand on one leg so the unilateral aspect i do get it but separate it because if you have a heavy kettlebell with baby kettlebells maybe you can do that but it doesn't add any value you'd rather use some heavier weights do a solid swing and then do a farmer's walk so in this video we see the athlete again which demonstrate a just powerful form of a swing and here they have the so-called technique series technique series where they talk about the swing and i love this guy right here i gotta get his name where is his name where is his name his name is pete mckell ace fitness also has a great webinar where they go into deep lengths i think lengths it's about 60 minutes long where they talk about the swing so much great value and i love what he says at the end somewhere right here he says heavy weights are instructive because if you use heavier weights you have to have proper technique and then jumping back into this stuff another video on the official ace fitness channel when we listen to dr stuart mcgill and when i listen to bill ash 
who is a rotational beast, and Dr. McGill, who is a spine scientist, the leading biomechanics of, of the spine, he says, you can rotate the T-spine, the upper part of the spine. And I love how Bill Ash calls it. He says it's like the upper part of, the, of a whip, which can be loose. But if you go down to the whip, the handle has to be strong and has to be solid. And that's what Dr. Stuart McGill says as well. Your lower back has to be solid. Don't start rotating your lower back. This may cause problem, especially with weights. And when you start swinging the weight, this may even exacerbate the problem because you're using ballistics now. Do a regular swing. And if you wanna do anything laterally, which I do understand, maybe do a windmill. You can do even a crucifix from the old school strongman days. You can even just do a side press or a bent press if you wanna work laterally to a certain extent, or maybe just do raises with a dumbbell if you wanna work, you wanna work your shoulders. And here we have the last one, <laughs> which is funny. Now. I don't want to talk bad about these guys. You know how I feel. It's just informational and educational purposes. This, this is a joke. This is sweet. And the thing that I get out of it is awesome. You are working out with your partner. Isn't that a beautiful thing? I always work out with my partner, with Angie. And it's awesome. It's beautiful. If you are moving together as a couple, the benefit that you get out of it. Let's call it the benefit effort ratio. There's a risk reward ratio. Let's use this a benefit effort, a effort benefit ratio. How much effort are you putting in your time that you're working out, the time that you dedicate, you are going into workout mode, right? And what kind of benefits are you getting out of it? In this case, probably not a lot. And here you can see this. They call this this exercise is featured in multi sport agility. An ACE integrated fitness training model workout published in certified ACE monthly magazine, blah, 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 blah. And maybe we can find something right here. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I, was, I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't prepared for this. This image. Yeah, yeah. Fall prevention, love it. Well, multi sport agility and yeah, using stuff like this. I don't think it's necessary. Fall prevention. Farmer's walks, single-handed farmer's walks or suitcase walks, swings in general, cleans, snatches, the unilateral aspect, but you're always standing on your feet. And if you want to mobilize your hips a little bit without any weights, yes, you can stand on one feet and then start rotating. But as soon as you in insert the weights, it, it is a critical line. I believe a physiotherapist has its own case, which I don't understand, and this is not my field of practice or expertise. I do get it. Yet, when it comes to strength, I believe it's one of the best things to do things on both feet on a solid surface, and that, in the end, will help you to increase and improve your bipedal mechanism that we have as human beings because we walk on two feet. The world of kettlebells is dominated by two training styles called heart style and kettlebell sport. Although vastly different in nature, they have been proven to work and give you the most bang for your buck whenever you pick up a kettlebell. If you understand them correctly and are able to differentiate between the two. If you are a beginner, this task might be understandably confusing. Enter the hybrid style and discover how to combine the best of both worlds. The hybrid style masterclass is a 10 week practice based online course that that will help you take your kettlebell skills to an elite level made in Switzerland. Learn what's been holding you back and how to become a versatile kettlebell master without having to piece together countless YouTube videos or rely on a gym membership. The price of the hybrid style masterclass is 397 US dollars per month for three months. Save 20% with a one-time payment of 997 US dollars. We'll open registration only to a small number of new students every three months. Join the waiting list now to get access 24 hours before the general public. Link is in the description.